Welcome back. So today, I printed off a recipe called fried rice with simple baked salmon. Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to bake my salmon. I'm actually going to boil it. And the reason why is because Curtis brought home some salmon from his mom, and she got it from somebody that she knows in Lumsden, and it's pre-packaged, and it's pre-cooked, so I guess they cooked it, I guess, I, it must be homemade, I'm assuming it's homemade, um, and it's already been seasoned and everything else, and so now, um, I guess they vacuum packed it or sealed it in, in a plastic bag, and then you just throw the plastic bag in hot boiling water for roughly four minutes and then add it with whatever else it is that you're making. So that's great because it's one less thing that I have to worry about tonight. <laughs> it's actually not that late, it's only 5.09 right now. It's relatively the same time that I like to make supper when, you know, if I can. Um, having said that, I will just be concentrating on the fried rice. So this is this recipe is courtesy of Brandon Scawthorn. So thank you, Brandon. Um, I do have all the proper ingredients, probably for the first time ever. So hopefully, I do this recipe some justice. And we will get started. So it tells me to heat a large deep skillet, which I've got, over medium-high heat. Right, medium high heat. I think that's good. Add about half a tablespoon of the butter. Let's find my butter. It says here that total time is 35 minutes, prep time is 10 minutes, and cook time is 25 minutes. And I will be honest with you, prep time only took me 10 minutes. So it's the first time I've actually ever encountered an accurate prep time. So that's great, like an actual prep time. Thank you for that. So we're going to grab this butter. Oh, and look at me. <laughs> I'm heating up the wrong element on my stove top. Can you see the smoke? Let's turn on the fan and get rid of that before the fire alarm goes off. So I turned on the right element, <laughs> and this one's cooling off now. Obviously I did some more spilling on this, and that's why there's smoke. You'd think that I would wash the elements off after they've cooled down, so that that wouldn't happen the next time I turn on the stove, but yeah. Anyway, uh, now this one's starting to... <laughs> starting to burn as well. If it starts to smoke up, I may have to turn on on the fan again to get rid of that. I don't need the smoke detector going off in the middle of this. Well, whatever. I'll leave it in. It happens. Yeah, it's smoking. <laughs> How stupid is that? Anyway, enough of that. Let's get this butter on the go. You know from previous videos how much I like my butter, so I'll likely cheat and add more than I'm supposed to. Alrighty then. It's calling for roughly half a tablespoon. Oh good, that's not smoking anymore. Half a tablespoon is going to be probably right there. Dip that. I'm just going to use my fingers. I just washed my hands. It should be fine. That's my son in the background playing Fortnite and having a temper tantrum. Isn't that awesome? Okay. I'm mounting that. Oh, um, I haven't got my secondary camera set up yet because I still haven't purchased another card. <sighs> 
few reasons. Haven't been paid in a while because I'm a freelancer, so I'm waiting on income, and also haven't really had the time to go shopping. But I will, and then I can set up the secondary camera. This butter has already melted, but you know what? Look at that. That's what half a tablespoon gives me. That's like nothing. I don't like it. I want more butter. And more. I shouldn't take too long. Because it is hot, dee hot, dee hot. I can actually touch this handle, unlike the cast iron frying pan, which heats right up and burns my skin. But this handle keeps cool, which makes it easy for me to just grab and swish that butter around. Okay, add about, oh, I already said that. Crack the eggs into the pan. It calls for two eggs. So let's do that without, oh, someone's got to teach me how to crack eggs without adding the shells. I'm going to turn that down a little bit because I think my medium high is like hotter than the average medium high, I swear. Okay, so I crack those into that pan. Wipe off my fingers. Stirring with a metal spatula. I'm not sure why it has to be metal. I find that odd that it would even say metal. But I'm not going to do that because metal will ruin my frying pan, my Teflon frying pan. So we're just going to use plastic or whatever this is. It says Echo. Probably just the brand name. No kidding. Anyway, so I'm supposed to scramble the eggs and chop them finely. And I'm scrambling. Man, they cook fast. And there's my son freaking out again. He's already forgotten to keep it down. How quickly they forget, huh? Okay, that's pretty good. Oh wow, that didn't take long at all. It's telling me to remove them. I have nowhere to put them, so I'm going to grab a bowl. Ta-da! Well, that didn't take long to cook at all. It's loud, huh? all the damage I would have caused doing that with a metal spatula. I suppose if you... depends on what you're cooking in, right? Okay, so it tells me to remove the egg, which I did. And then it says to add another tablespoon of butter. Well, we know how much I love butter, so let's just add this whole... <laughs> that whole thing. And I'm going to cut up more butter because I think I need more for later. Let's do that. Okay, so that's doing that. Um, and now I'm supposed to saute the onion in that. Oh, I love the smell of sauteed onions. I can't wait to add that to this frying pan. In the meantime, I am going to... Uh-oh, I just saw something. Hmm, we have a situation here. The rice is already supposed to be cooked, but nowhere in this recipe does it tell you to prepare... Oh, see this is my fault. Because <laughs> it calls for two cups cooked long grain rice, which I haven't done yet. See? I finally have all the ingredients that I need for the recipe. The accurate ingredients. But I haven't followed the instructions properly, but here, this is my problem. When I print these recipes off, I don't read the directions when I print them off. All I do is look at the ingredients, make sure I have everything I need, and then I just go. And, um, you would have thought that when I was looking at the ingredients I would have caught that it said cooked. 
long grain rice, but I didn't catch that, so now I have to cook that and then come back and carry on from where I left off. <sighs> Thanks for your patience. See you in a bit. Oh man, this smells really bad in here. <laughs> I had to open up all the doors because our windows are frozen. Because our windows are frozen shut. Just to let in some cold air so that the smoke detector didn't go off. Anyway, rice is um, cooking right now. So while that's doing its thing, I'm going to carry on from where I left off. And I'm going to boil the water and get it ready for the salmon. Okay. Now where was I? Add one tablespoon of the remaining butter to the pan and then saute the onion and carrot until softened. Yes, I'm filming. How did, how did you get in there? And Lars, can you let Jared know that he needs to be quiet? Okay. Please? Are you going to delete this show? No. Everyone's going to know what a freak weight my son is. <laughs> Tell him to keep it down, please. For all of you out there who have kids who play online video games, especially Fortnite, please tell me they freak out when they're playing, because that seems to be the only thing that he does. Hopefully he's not the only one. I can't hear what the other kids are doing because he has a headset on, so I can only hear his side. So hopefully they're freaking out just as much as he is, so that I know my son is normal. All right, so we're sautéing those onions and we're putting those carrots in. The carrots are shredded. And actually it only calls for one carrot and a small onion. That smells yummy. Now I don't know how well this is going to cook because I have a, a giant pan on a small element. <sighs> I'm tempted to move this where the rice is and then put the rice here. But then I'll have to reach over and it might be too awkward. So I'm just going to hope for the best. That's my dog coughing. Okay, what do we have here? So we are supposed to cook them for about three or four minutes. Okay, I will come back. Right now it's 5.32. And let's make it 5.36. Okay, see you in four. Okay, it's been four minutes. Smells really good. And it looks good too. I might be getting better at this. <laughs> well, after forgetting the rice, maybe not. All right, now it tells me add the remaining two tablespoons of butter. Of course, there's way more butter here than we actually need. Shame on me. But the more the better. In my opinion. There's not that much more. Maybe half a tablespoon more. Stir well. Okay. I'm gonna get a closer Smith. <laughs> Smith. Sniff. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Okay. Add 
rice. Okay. Oh, my water is boiling here, so I'm going to stick in our salmon. Hmm? And let that cook for the next four minutes. That's easy. I like easy. And we're going to take this rice. Oh, yeah, I did that right. Ugh. <laughs> it's kind of sticking to the pot a little bit. That's okay. It's nice and fluffy. There we go. And then we're supposed to mix that around. Oh, I feel like one carrot wasn't enough. Neither was one small onion. I feel like there should be more with a, with all that rice. But, oh well, that's okay. I'm sure it'll taste just fine. Five thirty nine. So I put that in almost a minute ago. So we'll cook that till, I don't know, five forty three. I know that's actually closer to five minutes, but that's probably how long it'll take me to finish up this rice. So now that it's nicely mixed, I'm supposed to fry for a few minutes. All right. I'll come back in about three minutes. Okay, it's been roughly three minutes. I believe that the fish is probably fully cooked, so I'm going to take that off and put it on the back burner. Well, apparently it was already fully cooked. I guess I should say it's fully heated. My rice looks like it's... It looks pretty nice. I wish you could see it again. I will get that secondary camera set up probably make it more interesting for you. Egg. Two eggs, actually. I fried them earlier. And chopped them up into little minuscule pieces. And now I'm adding, I've already added them, of course, you just saw me do that. <laughs> I don't make fried rice with egg or shredded carrots. I do make fried rice, but it's way different than what I'm doing right now. So this is a new experience for me altogether. It looks good. Hopefully it tastes good. So I mixed in the egg, and now I'm supposed to add soy sauce. Not soya, not S-O-Y-A, Soy, S-O-Y, yeah. Two tablespoons. One. Two. Mix that in. tablespoons is enough but I don't know and I don't want to pre-test it because then it'll ruin the surprise but I guess I'm just gonna have to trust the judgment of Brandon and if he says two tablespoons is enough then it must be enough looks pretty good I don't want my fish to overcook. I know it's not boiling anymore, but just sitting there makes me think it's probably still cooking. So I'm going to take it out and put it on this plate for now. 
just until we're ready to put it on our rice. The rice, I think, is done. I don't think there's anything else that we have to do with it. I'll double check. And I mixed it all as good as I think I can get it. And, uh, we can always add more soy or soya later on if we need to. But maybe it's just fine, just the way it is. Now I'm supposed to turn off the heat. Obviously, transfer the fried rice to a plate, top with the salmon, sprinkle with sesame seeds, and serve. Okay? Maybe this will be the first time everybody gives me at least higher than a 7. It has to be at least a 7 or higher for me to make it again. So far I haven't had that luck, but I keep trying. All right, Jared. That bite's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. That it's works. good? <laughs> wow, what would you give it? Seven out of ten. Not bad. Mm -hmm. All right, Jamie, Daddy's dying to eat, so let's be, let's try it out. It's thick. Mm. What? Mm, tastes good. What would you give it? Um, I'll give it a seven out of a ten. <laughs> okay, Dad. <gasps> the verdict rests with you. No, wait, no, I just, I just said that wrong. You said it wrong. Okay, don't just just wait. Wait, Jamie. Okay, okay. I'll wait. What kind of sauce is that? Well, it's a mix of things. Mm, not bad. Okay. <laughs> what would you give it, Dad? I'll give it a seven as well. Well, you know what that means. Mm. That this gets added to the list of things that I can make on a regular basis. Because you all scored me seven. I mean, no, I didn't score you seven. I scored you ten out of ten. I like this so much. Mm. I love it. Are you guys feeling okay today? <laughs> I actually love is that this. Fish? Like 10 out of 10. It is fish. Uh, you had that before, so that's definitely. You got a 10. <laughs> I love it. Around this fish before. Who's? Okay, just the rice? Yeah. yeah. All right. I can understand why you wanted to add the sauce from the fish. It's a little bland. No, oh, it tastes good. Oh, but I'm surprised everybody gave it a seven. Now we'll see what no, it tastes like with everyone. the seven. No, I give you a ten. Oh, thank you. I give you a ten out of ten. Hmm. The salmon adds more flavor to it. That's good. It's good. I'll make it again. Mommy. Right on. Mommy. I finally. That's one! One on the yes chart! Changing his mind. What did you just say? I changed it to a 10. It's really good. <laughs>